This video deals with the shocking repercussions of what happens when you lose your hydro, your electric, when it's disconnected. I don't think too many people really understand the enormity of the situation and how much the utility companies expect you to pay before you are reconnected. Um, later in the future videos I'll be dealing with how to cope with uh, having no hydro but for now let's look at what happens when you first get disconnected. Now it's tough to keep up with the monthly payments and sometimes they can get out of hand as we all know. Before you know it there's the note left at the door pay 500 by Thursday 10 a.m. or your services will be disconnected. By the way a service charge of $30 is added because of a personal visit to drop off the letter. Now for those that can come up with the 500 within two days, there's that comfortable feeling of knowing there'll be lights, TV, fridge, stove, microwave, etc. at least for another month or two. For those of us that cannot come up with the 500 immediately and have no chance of it being available within the next week, then it's just a matter of days before the lights go out, before the fridge no longer can hold food for any more than a day or two, and before the TV goes dead. So how long before you can come up with the 500? A week? A month? <laughs> Don't worry, it's not worth manipulating the budget to attempt to get back what everybody considers a necessity, but which those of us that know it's a luxury. By the time you have some money to pay, the bill is no longer 500 plus 30. The meter would have been read, and in addition, the current bill would be added also. Now 500 very quickly turns into 800, already getting beyond the capability of even those with regular income, never mind those struggling. But it doesn't stop there. Because you are struggling and couldn't pay the bill, there's a deposit required, $800 in addition to the bill. That's $1,600. Now, how many people can afford that? Poor people have to. How do they cope? Entertainment consists of battery-powered radios, as if you can afford the batteries. Lighting will be by candlelight, if you can afford the candles. Reading by candlelight may be fine for those blessed with good eyesight, but for many of us, it's an impossibility. Now, cooking's a challenge. How can you cook meals without a stove or microwave? And I'll explain some of the uh, methods in later videos. Now, eating out is not an option. You can barely afford to keep the basics in your fridge under normal circumstances. Now, with no fridge, you have to buy day to day one or two things at a time, and without a car, there's the added cost of $5 for bus fare each time, and you, each time you visit the superstore, or you're faced with exaggerated prices at the local hasty market, and you probably have to get a bus there too. Now, winter without hydro is not a pleasant experience. <laughs> Nothing to do but sleep after it gets dark, so from 5 p.m. until 14 hours later, when you watch the sunrise, you can see where you're going without stumbling over everything. How do you get ready for work in the dark? Now, candlelight may be very flattering at night, but it does nothing for the application of makeup that will be scrutinized in the daytime. <laughs> you no longer <coughs> excuse me, have a washing machine to wash your clothes. Using the launderer is an option, but by this time money is so tight for the basics, like food, that it gets pushed aside until it becomes out of hand and accum well, <laughs> accumulates on the basement floor in plastic bags, leaving only a few basic pieces that you have to wash by hand. Now, without a dryer, you have to hang the clothes out on the washing line, but, as everyone knows, although it smells lovely and fresh, it's wrinkled and needs ironing, but with no electric, you can't iron it. All this and more 
until you can come up with the $1,600 needed to reconnect the hydro. And this is something I think a lot of people don't realize what uh, we have to go through. So I will be addressing how to deal with all these different situations, be it hydro, gas, whatever, in uh, future videos. So hope to see you there.